Hanoi, like Ho Chi Minh, values space. Every square meter is accounted for, and family homes are modest. Here, one bedroom can accommodate multiple generations of the one family. Even the space on either side of the railway is utilized, no matter if it's only one square meter. Little cafes and shops line the tracks, making it a great place to catch up with my partner Lin, have some food, do a little bit of train spotting, and have some local egg coffee. Oh, ngon quá. Cảm ơn anh. I'm on Hanoi Train Street here, where the train tracks are right in front of me, and all these little houses are here, and little shop fronts as well. Now we have next door, we have people selling bun mi, we have ladies selling donuts, and. Right here, we have the beautiful Hanoi egg coffee, iconic to this area. Now, the egg coffee is made from egg yolk mixed with condensed milk, some coconut cream, a bit of sugar, and a little bit of honey as well. And just whip it up until it becomes nice and thick, almost like a thick custard. is Juan Kim Lake, the old quarter, St. Mary's Cathedral, and the egg coffee. Now, I love walking down here because you see how the locals live. You see them cooking, you see them doing the washing. This is the front yard of the local people here, preparing the breakfast there. Plucking the chickens is awesome. I'm going to do a dish very quickly before the train comes, and it's called pho, jing phom. This is ban pho, the rice noodle. I'm going to cut this into third. Now, if you look at these strips, it's got around four to five layers of noodle there. And then I'm going to cut it into, you know, rectangle pieces. This is going to fry in the oil. It's going to puff up, and it's going to be really crispy. Little pillows and little pockets. You want them golden, you want them crispy. You want them, wow, really, really beautifully soft and silky inside as well. All right, I think the train's coming. Where well, the train's coming? It's really, really close. And to think that the locals live right in front of the train track. Oh my goodness. It is so close. Dangerously close. I don't know how they sleep. I don't know how they watch TV. Just the simple things you think about. Wow. Very exciting. Oh my gosh. Now traffic started again flowing through. It gives me a small gap to continue my dish. Let's set up. Let's go. Now you might be thinking, why cook in the middle of the tracks? Well, both sides of the tracks are pathways. And trust me, you don't want to get in the way of the locals. They can be scarier than the trains if you get in their way. Now, I've got another train coming, I think, in this direction in another 10 minutes, so I have to be super, super quick, or else I'll get run over by the train, by the Reunification Express. <laughs> Look, it's like a little pillow. You have all of these layers of the noodles, which you can see, absolutely delicious. Now, I'm judging when the train comes by the people's movements. There's people still on the tracks, locals still doing their thing, cars are still going past. OK. I have enough time to cook my marinated beef, and in the same pan, I stir-fry some carrots, red chilies. Bok choy. I'm gonna put in some fish sauce. I can hear a, a whistle. That might mean the train's coming. Bit of voice of sauce as well. Oh, I forgot my onions. Toss that. I think the train's coming again. Soy sauce. All right. Beef goes in quickly. Toss that through. And I'm gonna put in just a little bit of stock. The train is on its way. I'm gonna put in a little bit of flour, corn flour, just to thicken the sauce a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna put in my little pockets. Look at that. That is my pho, jing phom with beef. I've got to move. Let's do this. Garnish with a little bit of other tot. A little bit of fried garlic. Let's go. Now, what I forgot to put in because I was scrambling out of the way was some Chinese celery. So if you have Chinese celery, put that in your pan as well. I've got old trays going. Garnish, a bit of coriander and some baby basil. Now, that is my pho, jing phom. My pillows of rice noodles with beef right on the train. <laughs> On the 
south end of the Huan Kim Lake, which is the opposite side to the old quarter of Hanoi. I'm going to introduce you to a place that serves one of the favourite dishes of the Hanoians. It's called Bung Dou Mam Thum. Now it's tucked away right between this narrow lane here. You've got to cross the road first. And it's in the back of the building. Just make sure you don't get run over. That's a very simple dish of showcasing the gorgeous silken tofu with vermicelli noodles and a stinky shrimp paste sauce. Now it's super busy here. Jiao. Okay, so this is the Bung Dao Mum place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so there's a few different stalls here. So you just got to know which one to go to. There's one here. She's dragging me this way. She's dragging me this way. Let's go have a look at this side. Now there's bikes everywhere. Ah, oh, this is good. Now you can smell that stinky fermented shrimp paste. But this is what it's all about. Oh, here it is. Now look, this is the vermicelli noodles. This is the bun part. You can see that. Wow. All the banana leaves. Look at this is it. Now, this is a peasant dish, okay? Hundreds of years ago, there was no food in Hanoi. People were very, very poor. So they relied on filling themselves up with vermicelli and of course the tofu. Now the evolution of this dish is quite incredible to see. Now there's pork belly, there's actually some, uh, some spring rolls as well, some innards. Now come on, oh, look, this is a good example. <laughs> this is what Mum Dao Mum Thum is now. This is with a lot. Look at that, you've got pig's intestine, pig sausage, cucumber perilla. Wow, this is Mum Dao Mum Thum with everything. It's intriguing to watch these local people who probably out of necessity started to make this silken tofu. This complex, delicate process is made to look so simple and just part of a daily routine. Dried soybeans are soaked for about 15 hours then milled. The soybean milk is then boiled up and a coagulant is added. This produces the curd which is then wrapped in cheesecloth and left to form in these old, rustic wooden blocks. Now this is the tofu here. They cut the tofu in small pieces. It's silky, oh, it's fluffy, it's gorgeous. Fried in the oil so it's nice and crispy. Now this sauce is a shrimp paste mixed with sugar and kumquat and a little bit of chilli. Salty, sweet, spicy, great kick. Great umami. Now have a look behind me here. It is so busy. Sitting on the floor at the top level, cross-legged. This is great dining atmosphere. I love finding these hidden gems in the laneways of Hanoi.